One mile, how far it is depends on how you cover it. In a car, it's not that far. Running, it's a little further. How about 30 to 50 feet at a time, with each step potentially tougher than the last? One Richmond man says if he can do it, you can too. Maybe the purple? Try the corner one? Yeah, I'm gonna do the green one. Yeah. Six months ago, Hunter Obenchain never would have thought to try something like this. All right, good. But being an advocate for activity and giving testament to testing himself, Obenchain suddenly found himself climbing as much as he could, indoors and out. What he loves about it is hard to put into one or two words. All right, so there's like adrenaline. It's just so cool to do something uh, kind of unique and it's physical. I'm a huge proponent of just doing stuff that's physical. Nice, good first climb. I couldn't find that green one with my foot. In his day job as a physical therapist at Chippenham Johnston Willis Hospital, Obenchain is constantly encouraging others to practice what he preaches. Maybe this black one. I teach people to walk again or get back to doing physical activities that they never thought they could do again. So there's a ton of people out there that are wheelchair bound or um, have uh, an ampute amputation or something like that and they're not able to, they don't think they're able to do this sort of stuff. But there's a company that is out to prove them wrong. Paradox Sports is a Colorado-based firm dedicated to providing adaptive climbing opportunities that, as their website says, defy convention. <sighs> the Triangle Rock Club here in Richmond came up with a way for their customers to help out Paradox and their initiatives. Climb one mile worth of walls in one month. Since the walls are either 30 or 50 feet high, you can figure out how many climbs that would take. Oh, geez. I don't know the exact numbers. So if you're climbing, if you're climbing the tall walls, oh gosh, I think it was something around like a hundred and, like just over a hundred. It takes 106 climbs of the 50 foot wall and 176 climbs of the 30 foot wall to get to one mile. All right. Divide that by the average 30 days in a month. Rocking. And that's a lot of trips up and down these walls. Unfortunately with like life and work, I can't come every day. So typically when I'm coming, I'm climbing about 30 of the short walls per day. Because of a previously planned trip, Obenchain actually finished his mile in three weeks instead of a full month and is trying to raise $1,000 for his efforts to benefit Paradox. He's living proof of the benefits of being active in general and taking on challenges never before thought possible, regardless of any disability or obstacle. And climbing even, I thought when I watched people climb, I was like, there's no way I could ever do that. Um, and just the more I've done it, the better I've gotten. And it's the same way with them. They're very intimidated to do it at first, as a lot of people are. But once you start doing it, once you get the swing of things, if you surround yourself with the right people, like the people with uh, Paradox Climbing, they'll show you the ropes, no pun intended. <laughs> so I'm 20 feet away from a mile. So this climb will meet it. Looking at their, their face and seeing the excitement they get when they're able to do something that they didn't think they could do, um, it's just, I mean, it's so rewarding. It's so great to see it for them. There we go. One mile down. Um, it really makes you kind of contemplate your own image and your own idea and what you think you can do. <laughs> If you're interested in Hunter's fundraising, you can go to ParadoxSports.org. To date, climbers all over the country have raised nearly a quarter million dollars. If Hunter gets his $1,000 goal, his next challenge will be to climb one mile in 24 hours.